Hey guys, Ashlyn here with an early access review of Conan Exiles. Conan Exiles is an open world survival crafting game that is currently in early access on Steam. The game can be played solo or as locally hosted co-op or on an online server. I experienced all three modes and the online is the best option. If you intend to play solo, I would strongly advise against that as it gets very lonely and boring. Using the player hosted co-op is better than soloing, but it also has issues that need to be addressed. The biggest issue being that the people you are hosting are invisibly tethered to you and you can't split up at all. Other people are dragged along wherever the person hosting goes, so hopefully that will get fixed soon. Playing online multiplayer is definitely the way to go. Some servers will have lag and rubber banding and it gets worse as more people join the server. And it is something that's top priority for fixes, but in the meantime you can use the lag to your advantage in many situations. All of the server settings can be changed most importantly whether it's PvP or PvE and how fast people are able to progress. Due to all the different server options, the gaming experience will vary from one server to another. You just need to find a server that fits what you want to do and at a pace that you'd like to do it. Personally, I prefer the faster progression with PvP. As is the nature with any PvP game, expect to be zerged, killed, and lose practically everything you own in the blink of an eye. There is anti-cheat software called BattleEye that servers can opt into having, but there are plenty of unofficial servers that don't require players to have it. A major focus of the game revolves around gathering resources and crafting. The crafting system has quite a bit to offer, and I'm so glad that you can craft while doing other things. You'll need to make everything from weapons to armor to torture devices and shrines to housing and decorations. As much as I like the crafting, the interface layout for the crafting menu and the crafting recipes section both need a major overhaul. Right now everything is a bit of a mess and it seems very disorganized. I really hope that they streamline these crafting menus and make them easier to read. Players can build and customize their own buildings just about anywhere they want and make as many buildings as they want to as long as it's not too close to someone else's buildings. Everything you build can be raided and destroyed by other players. I really enjoyed building housing but I do wish that it wasn't so quick and easy to raise everything to the ground. The game's survival aspects require you to manage your health, stamina, thirst, and hunger. By default, these are all easily manageable without being too much of a burden once you have access to a campfire to cook with. You can eat raw foods, but food poisoning can kill you if you aren't careful. Dying respawns you back at wherever you have a bed set up, and on most servers, all of the items that you had are left on your body. Having more stats from leveling as well as better armor and weapons play a large role in combat success, but enough coordinated naked people can take out someone fully geared and higher level. Fighting players is much more satisfying than fighting the AI. The AI is a bit dumb, but I'm sure that will get improved in the future. Most of the combat is melee, but there are ranged weapons as well. All the tools, armor, and weapons have durability. When items become completely worn out, you can repair them with a few materials instead of having to completely recraft them. The environments look great, but on occasion you'll notice some objects floating above the ground. Issues are expected in this stage of the game, and they weren't too plentiful or game-breaking. The character and enemy models could use some improvements to both the design and the animations to make them more consistent with the rest of the world. I find it difficult to differentiate between AI enemies and player enemies, or tell enemies from allies, so it will be great when the clothing customization is implemented. Performance-wise, I was able to run with all settings maxed, but there are frame drops every now and then. It wasn't too bad though, and I could easily tolerate it. There isn't a whole lot to say about the story, since most of it isn't implemented yet. The cutscenes and the voice dialogue that there are in the game are done very well though. The music and sound effects are fine, but there are some sounds that cut in and out. The controls are fully customizable, and there is controller support. I've played the game for over 20 hours so far, and I've had the most fun while playing on the online servers, PvPing, and building up bases with others. Conan Exiles is in early access, so if you're looking for a perfect, polished, and complete game, just hold off until the game develops further. After my experiences with Age of Conan, I admit that I was skeptic about Conan Exiles. However, there is plenty of fun to be had with Conan Exiles. I think the game is off to a great start, and I don't understand all the hate that it's getting. I have played a lot more than I thought I would, and I intend to play the game even more as it develops. I hope this early access review has helped you. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and post your feedback in the comments below. Thanks everyone, and have a wonderful day!